Welcome aboard BB's bus. I am your captain driver, David. What's up, Dad? <laughs> What's up? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another day on the Wee Family Channel. Make it sound like on the Disney Channel. That's what that made me think of. This is not the Disney Channel. <laughs> We're just waiting for our, our awesome little girl to come home. Well, she's not going to come home on her own. We have to go get her. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> You're so full of jokes today. Calm down with the jokes. <laughs> Providing your uh, comedic relief. Whoa, that was weird. I hope I got that on camera. What? When she stretched, her tongue was hanging out. <laughs> it was like the stretch was so good. It was like, ah, uh, stretch. <laughs> Do you guys like nectarines? Stacy wants to know. They're pretty good. I prefer peaches over nectarines. Let us know, peaches or nectarines? And don't, you can't cheat. You can't say both. Say one or the other, please. I really like peaches, but I don't like the fuzz on them, so these are easier for me, texture-wise, you know? I don't know. I like fruits with fuzz, and kiwis are my favorite, especially unpeeled. The best. You? Yes, I eat kiwis unpeeled. I guess I've not seen you eat a kiwi in a really long time. Am I the only person in the world that likes kiwis unpeeled? It's so good. It makes the kiwi, you know, because you got the inside of the kiwi and then you got the, the skin part of the kiwi is sour. And so it, it's just a good middle ground when you eat a kiwi. It all combines and just makes the perfect taste. I want to go buy kiwis now. I think we got some packages out here. Oh boy. What else did you get from Chewy? His what? So uh, Carlos has been in his corner over here. <laughs> we've had to put things together. Yeah, we've we've had we're supposed to be keeping him away from other animals, and I think that's just for chasing reasons. Carlos enjoys chasing cats, and you know dogs dogs do like chasing cats. He has to stay contained because he can't be re-injured. We're hoping this gate just gives him a little more. Feels like he's with us and not packed away inside of a corner. Post. Post op supplies. I also got him some of these. Help him swallow his capsules. He's been doing the caplets all right, but these ones have been struggling. Yeah, we pretty much have to put it into his. Yeah. Still, still the going in way, but we've had to like shove it into his mouth pretty much that for the beginning. Aggressive. Eat it. Well, what else do we do? Like, otherwise, he just chews it and it becomes ineffective. The so. first day, he had a cone full of powder. Getting dogs to swallow. A pill is really challenging. This thing looks uh, bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I told you 36 by 36. How high is it though? 24. You made it so the cats can't even jump in. Although I feel like they're gonna try to climb it. It gives him some space so that once he recovers a little bit more, he can still walk, walk around. around a little bit. Are you so happy that you're gonna be in the center of attention again? It's actually a uh, cost-effective option compared to other things like this out there. Chewy, Chewy seems to have the best cost of pet gear. I love Chewy. Not sponsored. Nemo just caged himself. Sir, this zone is not for you. <laughs> Today, it's extremely hot outside. Well, I guess not extreme, but there's a heat advisory, so we're we're gonna find something to do inside. Yesterday we actually spent a lot of time outside with Braley playing in water, unrecorded. We had a lot of fun out there. Today, I have an idea. With it being so hot today, it's actually cooler in our basement. So I had this idea a while back. I think today's the day to make it happen. I just need to make, make some space probably right here for something. I don't think I need to move the swing. Braylee's really good about avoiding objects and she likes swinging. She likes swinging this way. And so, I'm gonna put something right here. Yeah, that'll work. Let's make this happen. And there it is. Moving, 
Braley's drum set into the living room from her uh, playroom, her, well, music room. She doesn't spend a lot of time in her playroom lately. I feel like her priority when she comes in here is more of the toys that are in here. I mean, she does come in here and play the drums every so often, but we're gonna see what it's like when it's more accessible for her, especially when she's just out here playing. I wanted to put it in front of the TV because she really enjoys 21 Pilots, enjoys watching the drummer from 21 Pilots. We're going to put a 21 Pilots music video up here and see if that makes playing the drums even more exciting for her. She really does enjoy it. We just, we're going to encourage it a little more than we have. And you know, indoor activity while it's 104 feet like temperature outside. Go check on Stacy's progress. Check to see what she's doing up here. Oh, it's flat. We're just gonna set in the living room for now. I didn't make the space over here by the window because I know like Carlos likes sunbathing. So I made a little spot available to move it here. It's easy to move, so. And the reason why we're not putting it here today is because it's so hot outside. And when we open that curtain, the heat bakes the upstairs. All right, buddy, let's, let's check this out. Oh boy. Oh boy, buddy. Look, you get a little space. Look at that, buddy. You can walk around a little bit without yeah. us worrying. You're going to get. Yeah, and now it's good for him to actually walk around a little bit to help get his strength back. Also, it helps with his learning how to walk with his other three legs while his fourth one is not ex not working correctly. I'm sorry, buddy. This is not going to be the only time we do this either. We're going through this whole process a second time. Yeah, cause since this is going to be long term, this is this seems better. I I feel much better about this than well, than that. And we wouldn't leave him in those spaces forever. We take turns watching him, but he can't be unattended. And there are times that both of us have things to do, like you're working and I have to watch Braley and that takes up our time, you know? We gotta make sure he stays safe, whether or not we can keep eyes on him at all times. But that feels so good because you can't scratch your face at all. <laughs> all right, Carlos, we're about to go get Braley, but first we gotta take you out potty, huh? Let's go. <laughs> this is how we, we take him. Can't go in the front yard because we can't risk him getting all riled up if someone walks by. So, go potty, buddy. I'll wait for you, buddy. We got time. Remember how tiny Braley's plant was? Just that one little sprout that we had? Now it's like a jungle. Whew, need that fresh air. The wind out there does not help. It's like someone's breathing into our faces. Hi, Braley. High five. So hot. Ready, set, go. Welcome aboard BUB's bus. I am your captain driver, David. Our drive time is approximately five minutes. And during this time, make sure that you keep your arms and legs within the vehicle. What's up, Dad? <laughs> What's up? Please remain seated during the entire drive with your seatbelt fastened. We are now at a cruising speed of 40 miles per hour. You still have to wear your seatbelt. We are now approaching our destination. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we come to a complete stop and the engine is turned off. Thank you for traveling on me. Have a wonderful day. Let's go inside. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Probably 
the cutest thing <laughs> when she wears the 21 Pilots mask when they're wearing it too. <laughs> It's gonna be great mask for winter when it's really cold outside. I know, we'll have to worry about the air force in your face. Yeah. Say bye to everybody. Say bye. Mm -hmm. Found it. <laughs>